Hello everybody, I hope you're really, really well. Um, you know, so um, my, my life is an open book. Uh, you can Google me, you can watch my videos and you will get to know exactly what I'm all about. I mean, what you see is what you get. And I've always been like that all my life. But uh, there are a couple of things that I really haven't spoken to anybody other than my family knowing about it. Nobody else does. <clears throat> and today I woke up in the morning and I thought maybe it's time to <laughs> to spill the beans, so to speak. So a little story about my journey. Most of you have heard a lot about it, but um, there are certain things that I haven't really told anybody. And I'm going to share it because <clears throat> somebody somewhere might find some strength from it. Somebody somewhere might be inspired. And... Um, so here goes. So I was married at 17. I was a mother at 22 and divorced at 24. And, um, and I thought my life was over. <laughs> but then I decided, uh, you know, I am just going to pick up Kavi and uh, go someplace and try to make our lives work. I mean, I've been often asked, you know, so Ambika, what did you really want to do in life? And really, it's always been constant, my answer, that I wanted to be happily married with four daughters, like my parents. Two homes, one up in the hills, one next to the water, because I love both these places, and two dogs. And God decided, okay, that's not what you're going to get. But he did give me one beautiful, gorgeous daughter who my life revolves around. So when I picked up Kavi when she was two years old and left for Delhi, all I really wanted was to put a roof over our heads and food in our stomachs and clothes on our back. And uh, it was, it wasn't, no, I did not have any crazy ambitions or drives or dreams. I mean, my dream was to keep us happy and, and um, you know, just happy. And um, so whatever roads my life took, you know, our lives took, Kavi's and mine, I eventually managed to make a, I mean, make a living because I partnered with one of my best friends and and after seven years of um, working with him, um, you know, I realized that he was swindling money from, um, from just under my nose. And so I walked up to him and I told him, I said, I don't think this salon can handle your extravagant lifestyle and uh, my dreams of keeping Kavi and me safe. So he, he says, what are you planning to do? And I said, I think I'm just going to open a small little salon in my colony. He says, yeah, why don't you do that and cater to just the people around your salon? You know, what he didn't realize was that he just lit this burning desire inside my stomach. Like a huge fire was lit inside me. And I thought to myself, I looked at him and I thought, do you think I'm only capable of doing that? You know? So I went all out. Then the drive was madness. It was like a, a crave inside my system to, to make it very, um, you know, to, for me to understand that I could make this work. And I was just not a nobody that, that people could walk all over me. So I went on over the next 14 years, I went on. I worked tirelessly, went on to make one of the biggest names in this industry. I mean, I've won every single award there is to win in my industry. In fact, the Vogue um, Award I won twice. The second one I won was a proud moment for me because I, um, I stood on stage with 
um, with the best in my industry and we were awarded the Superhuman Award. <laughs> and of course that year Amita Bachchan won and so did Ash and, and a lot of people who I look up to, you know. So that was a big moment for me. And I don't really work to get any awards. It just comes because people appreciate what you do. And um, that award was just recent, but I'm talking about 14 years of my life. I gave uh, building up a brand, a huge brand that became a household name in the North. And, and uh, again, I was smacked down by my partner, but those are things that I have spoken about many times. But, um, you know, I at that point was on the lookout for how to make Kavis and my life, actually more Kavis, more settled by building such a huge brand. I mean, she had to, it was her heritage, it's her birthright, my name, and what I had built, you know. But I was already, I had given the best years of my, my life towards a job. And the only thing that I thought that I could naturally progress into was to bring out my own products. So I actually tied up, I was on the lookout for a really good partner because I am not good at these things, yeah? Uh, at marketing and, and whatever, manufacturing and all that. So I tied up with ABA Group, the makers of Medimix soaps, and we brought out Ketra. And I was the face of the brand. I was a 51% shareholder in the company. And from the beginning, the MD looked at me and said, Ambika, it's gonna take about four to six years for this to take off. We were already in about 4,000 or 6,000 shops in Kerala. Ketra had landed in the Middle East, ready to launch. <clears throat> and three years had gone by and they got in touch with me and they said, it's not doing well. So I was in shock. I said, what do you mean it's not doing well? I mean, anyway, you said four to six years, so let's give it time. But very politely, I was asked to step down. And, <clears throat> and instead of getting into big fights and everything else, I walked away. I walked away without taking a single buck for my 51% that I handed over on a platter to them. But what I'm talking about today is that fire. You know, by the time I had, uh, we had brought out Ketra, that fire had been doused because I thought I had achieved something that I could leave behind for Kavi when I was gone. But with Ketra being taken away from me, and at the last meeting that I had with the MD and the director, his son-in-law, we sat across and, and I am, I'm, I'm an emotional person and I cry when I watch movies, but it's very difficult for people to make me cry, you know. But I cried that day. I sat in front of them. And I couldn't stop the tears. They just rolled down. And I, and I, I mean, I cried because I was trying to tell them that it's emotional for me to let go of something that I helped build from scratch which I thought would safeguard Kavi. And it's difficult for me to let go. And the MD looked at me and said, Ambika, maybe you should now think of starting a small, a few products and selling it to all your fans on Facebook. And I said, they are my friends. And he said, um, maybe that's what you should do. You know what he did? He lit that fire in my belly yet again. And this time it burnt even stronger. This time I was like, do you think that's all I'm worth? To start a few products and try to sell it on Facebook. And uh, I walked off from that meeting, my last meeting, and my mind churned. And I said, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to bring out my own products and start with Facebook, like he suggested, like how Sylvie suggested 
start in your own little colony and let's see where it I mean he, he thought that's all I was going to do and in this case he said start with Facebook and I said yes I'm going to start even my salon business I started really small and from there built it to what it is today and on the 6th of October I announced uh, about the pre-orders without the products actually in my hand but it was already in production everything else has already been done by 1st of November I sent out my first packet first or the first week of November so it's been about, about nearly two months that the AP line has been launched and and selling and I have to tell you it's gone way beyond my wildest dreams whoever thought the few friends that I had on Facebook is going to make this a comfortable journey for me was in a way right but also mistaken because those friends told their friends and their friends told other friends and it just skyrocketed the AP line was born and it took off without a doubt in anybody's minds that this is going to work for us I've been working really tirelessly for about 15 years now to bring out these products you know you all know how much I believe in the gold and saffron the activated charcoal um, the lines and the vitamin C's and the hyaluronic acid cream or serum you all know what people who are on this page and who watch me all the time you know how much I vouch for these products and for me to actually put my name to it and to bring out the best products for you was a dream come true so I just want to tell you all every time somebody tries to knowingly or unknowingly try to get you down or um, or lights a fire in that belly of yours know that you can make it know that if you believe in yourself and if you are a fighter you know I am a fighter I will always be a fighter I will always fight for what is mine and what is Kavi's from what I can do if people are going to fight with me and take things away from me please Go ahead but there are two things that that I have when I was 28 days year, uh, eight days old my dad whispered my name and said my year he closed one year and he said Ambika his name is Gopinath Pillai so I took on his surname so Ambika Pillai is something that people cannot take away from me the other thing is this gift that God has given me in my hands you know, these are two things that uh, nobody can take away from me. And whatever they take, with these two things, I will rebuild my life. I will rebuild what is Kavi's heritage and what is her, hers. And I think I have all of you to thank. I don't think, I know I have all of you to thank for making the AP line such a huge rocking success. And for the amazing feedbacks that I'm getting from all of you, you know, it's, it's a, <laughs> you've made my, you've made my, um, my heart smile. You are the balm to my soul. Yeah, you're a soothing balm to my heart and soul. Because <sighs> it's been a journey. Well, it's been a journey and because I have managed to talk to you all every other day and, uh, you know, you understand that I have really worked hard and, uh, you know, I'll probably help me out. That's what you've done. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, that fire burns really, really strong in my belly. And I'm going to take it places like what I did with my salon business. I will do this to my AP line. That's a promise. To myself and to Kavi and to my mom and to my sisters and my full family. 
who have always stood by me and believed in me. Stay strong, every single one of you. Know that nobody can get you down and should get you down because you are your own person. <laughs> I shall see you all soon. Bye-bye.